Number seven, a student's parents invested $5,000 in a college savings account that pays 4.85% annual simple interest. No additional deposits or withdrawals will be made. Which amount is closest to the interest earned on the account at the end of 15 years? So we are looking at simple interest. These are our terms. Our time is 15 years. Our rate is 4.85% and our principal, which we represented by P, equals $5,000. Our simple interest formula is interest equals principal times right rate times time. Let's plug in what we know. We know that uh, we're trying to find our interest, so we have $5,000. We can substitute that in for our principal, principal times rate. And then our rate, we have to change that by dividing by 100. 4.85% divided by 100 is 0 0.0485. And then multiplying it by the time, our time will be 15 years. So once we get that plugged in there, really the most important part is converting that rate to the decimal. So when we look through all these, we multiply those together, we get $3,637.50. Now, let's look at our answer choices here. It says, which amount is closest to the interest on the account in 15 years? We can look at it, it hits right on there. So really this is a pretty simple problem as long as we know how to work with our formula, plugging in the numbers. Um, we're gonna get to use a calculator on this one, but that conversion of that percentage rate is probably the biggest mistake that most students make. Our correct answer, which amount is closest to the interest earned on the account at the end of 15 years? $3,637.50.